So instead of just having the menu pop up on player death, I've added some effects like, like slow motion, zoom in, and some more particle effects. So if I were to eat myself, eat my own body part as a snake, there you just saw the added effects. Instantiating different colored particle effects is really easy, especially when they're all based on cubes. If I look at the blood particles, for example, here's the blood particle. And for water, it's the same thing, just a different variant with different colors. Here's the blue one. And I have green and gray for snake and the rats. And if we look at the code, I have a pooling system for this. Pool object. For example, when I want to instantiate the water particles, all I got to do is call this function, get object. And if this is the first water object, we're going to instantiate it. And when we're done using this object, instead of destroying it, we're going to add it to a list of pull objects, a dictionary rather. So whenever we use this function, get object, the first thing we're going to do is check if we already have that object, which is turned off in the dictionary. If not, we create a new one, instantiate. Otherwise, we get one from the pool instead of creating a new one. Either way, we get the object. And if I look at the enum again, So here we have different instances of getting the water. Getting the blood, getting the rat particles. And so on blood and snake. And the zoom in is easy too. if we look at the animator for the camera control, we already had the shake camera, meaning let me play this. If I turn on this parameter, we get the shake camera, turn it off, we go back to default. And I'm doing the exact same thing with the zoom. Turn on the zoom parameter, we zoom in, turn it off, we zoom back out. So it's just a matter of choosing which state you want. The code is just there to determine which of these parameters get turned on and off. If I look at the code, for the camera control. So here you see the camera shake being turned on and turned off. Let me find some other examples. Here's zoom being turned on, zoom being turned off. One thing to note about this state driven camera system is that before we had this global transition type where for every single transitions we're easing in and out in 0.05 seconds. If you want a slower transition, that's when we use the custom blends here. So when you're going from the default cam into the zoom, instead of using 0.5 seconds, we use one second. And from zoom to any other camera, again, instead of 0.5, we use one second transition. For the slow motion, if I look at the code again, I'm going to look for this function, zoom in and out. When we do the zoom in, we change the time scale. And then after a certain period of time, we turn the time scale back to one. So here we're setting the time to 0.15%, meaning we're slowing down the time and the slow motion lasts for 0.25 seconds. And then we go back to 100% time scale. People have come up with other elaborate methods to make the transition as smooth as possible. But for this game, this is a pretty simple game. I think this will do. And I think I've explained everything. Let me play the game one more time. Everything that you see here, I have all the download links in the descriptions so you can download and play around with this yourself. See what it's like, change it, modify it.
do whatever you want. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.